Hi everybody! Hope you're all fine and doing well. I'm very happy. And hopefully I'm live. I can't really tell. <laughs> I'm sure I am. But we're having a nice, lovely, fresh day today. It was really frosty this morning. And we've got, I thought we'd show you how we fare on a road with no pavements. Because we were having a chat about that on the um, the Facebook page the other day, weren't we? And there's so many roads in Norfolk without pavements. <laughs> and when you have a reactive that likes to chase cars and is rather in the nicest possible way motion sensitive, it can be an issue. We know this, don't we? Fortunately, one of the nice things about Norfolk roads, especially around here, is that you get a bit of warning. <laughs> because they're usually fairly quiet. And the road I'm on at the moment, so it is normally a bit of a thoroughfare between several villages. But even what we consider to be a thoroughfare, <laughs> in general terms, is fairly quiet. So, I, th <laughs> I thought I'd just do a few minutes showing you what it's like. So, the first thing I always do when I'm out with our motion sensitive bubba here is a quick peek at the bottom of the driveway to see if there's any dogs coming. And, uh, sorry Jeff, I was too busy looking at what you were saying. <laughs> I'll tell you in a wee second. Yeah, so the first thing I do is have a wee peek round the bottom of the driveway to make sure there are no dogs coming because not only bugger lugs he is motion sensitive, he's dog sensitive. And when the coast is clear, we make a dash for left, right or front. <laughs> Depending on the time of day, the quietness and who's around. So today we decided to head off on the main thoroughfare from, oh, look at the berries, from uh, Dillham towards Honing. So this is about a mile and a half to Honing and it does get quite a bit of, of what we consider <laughs> to be lots of traffic, but I've been here for what, how many minutes now, Jeff? And I think there's only two cars that have passed us. But it's a nice test to show you how um, how to <laughs> how to <do laughs> how to see how reactives, motion sensitive reactives might might get on should they see something they don't like. But what's nice about down here is Tunnage Bridge is just down there. There's a beautiful walk all the way along Tunnage Bridge that takes you down to Wayford and that also back of these trees on the other side a little bit further along is Weaver's Way and that runs from Cromer I think all the way down to Great Yarmouth but parts of that walk link you to different um, well, I'm just keeping an eye there we go so that was a car that passed and you did very well there didn't you? so there's another one coming which he's terribly interested in and he's been perfect. Well done, Benjamin. Smashing. So, there you go. That, <laughs> that's what we call our busy loads. And thankfully he was quiet enough not to worry about it today. Oops, sorry, Bubba. But the one thing I'm always really careful of is making sure that I face the traffic. And... Uh, <laughs> I often come across a lot of runners that tend to be running the same way as the traffic which when you've got the dogs and they're a bit sensitive you've got to watch and plan ahead but again you can see how easy it is to plan on most roads and this, this is a really particularly nice one but we've got such a smashing day for it <laughs> the other is it any reactive dog owner knows. The other thing, apart from cars and dogs 
and pheasants and various bits and bobs. There is also <laughs> I've got to spell it out. There is also the issues with the SQ U. I can't do it for laughing. S Q U I R R E L S. Yeah. So when we get to the more built up trees down here, that's gonna be the next fight. Just in case there's some of them running about in the trees and cars coming the other way too. <laughs> but we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. You just couldn't be anything else but, could you, on a day like this? It is glorious. But I'm always constantly, where there's no pavements, I'm constantly thinking and listening and getting the boys just a little bit ready, just in case. And we're lucky now, there's nothing coming. See how quiet it is? We like it quiet. <laughs> we like to be dull and boring. You having a sniff here? Don't go for the SQU eyes. Oh, sorry, Benjamin. P time. Yep, there's obviously been something really exciting here. They're both having a good old sniff. Beautiful house in there. Love that one. Come and see our horsey friends. We're going to head up a bridle path in a minute. Um, and I've got to play ball because my arm is getting pulled off here by young Dara. Desperately want to go play ball. And I don't think I'll manage to get him across the road and manage the camera at the same time. So we will disappear in a minute. So this nice wee road runs all the way to Honing. Look at that sky. The clouds are phenomenal, aren't they? What a day! You can't have lockdown blues in a day like this, can you? You've got to be grateful for this. How fabulous. Right, we're going to head before my arm gets pulled off. And I shall smell you all later.